Well, here we go. Back to charging this thing. This is a video to hopefully answer some questions about the Ring Spotlight camera. Uh, it's battery operated and hopefully I have your answers. I've had this thing for about six months roughly, so hopefully I got your answers. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so real quick. Uh, yeah, I have to charge this thing every so often. Probably like, what? Month, two months roughly. Uh, I can let it go a little longer than that. Probably like two months I think is the most I've gone without having to charge it. And I've turned down the sensitivity during the daytime on the sensor. So that way it doesn't run the battery that much because I live in a high traffic area, so that's gonna play a big part of your battery wear and tear is if you have a lot going on in your area, so cars constantly passing by, people constantly coming through. Uh, like my driveway is a short driveway, so constantly throughout the day and throughout the night, I get cars, but throughout the night, it's pretty pretty quiet, pretty dead. So when a car does pass by or something does pass by, it gives me a notification. You know, I, um, I kind of, you know, well, no, I, I tend to treat it with some amount of importance and I click on real quick and I take a look and see what it is. Um, most of the time it's just a car or it's a cat. Uh, there is a, just off topic, there is a animal that I have no idea what it is that keeps setting it off. has really short legs and a hairless body. Maybe it's some kind of demon monster, I don't know. But it's there and it keeps coming in and triggering off my uh, driveway light. I have one of these in my backyard as well. And that's all I'm gonna tell you about how many of these I have. Uh, and uh, so I'm pretty secure per se, but like I say, it does run down battery. Uh, Wi-Fi also is an issue. So my Wi-Fi router I think I only, I've never checked, but I'm pretty sure I only run on one one channel on every device that I have in the house. So once I set up multiple cameras, you know, the doorbell and then these right here, uh, the connectivity decided that it didn't want to be very strong. So, so I'll show you really quick. Let me see if I can get this on here real fast. Let me get the app real quick, uh, ring app, and uh, we'll, and get into it real fast so so if you look right here let's see here 31 minutes this is the new interface so that's another question that somebody had for me is that the interface is different than what they had so my interface from my previous video on this thing is one of the original interfaces so now it's updated and this is what it looks like now so it has like a dashboard I'm not exactly too fond of this one. I mean, it's kind of cool. I'm getting used to it because it gives you like a quick second preview, you know, like a quick preview. So that's kind of cool. But then if I want to go to each one of them, I have to go and like click here, like, and then it'll show me my last one, my last video clip. And this is me actually taking it down. Well, you get the idea. So anyway, uh, so the interface is different. So then you come over here and then you want to check out your, um, let's see here, your devices. And this is what I've discovered that the, well, yeah, you can tell. I wasn't going to tell you how many cameras, but I have three of them on this, on this network right now. So look, the battery's like low. People are messaging me. Here we go, motion settings. Oh, no, no, device health. So if you look, here's all my stuff right here. So look. Here's my strength, RSS i50. Let's click on that. So, it says it's kind of weak, weak sauce. Signal strength indication is a measurement of wireless signal strength ranging from blah, blah, blah. What does this mean? 50 is better than most, indicating your Wi-Fi interface on your spotlight cam. If you experience video quality issues, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so pretty much what that means is that um, my Wi-Fi is not that great right here in this area. So, so this is the one in my driveway. This is the one that you're seeing right here. I'm actually charging it. Um, yeah, I get about, I wanna say about a month, month and a half, two months roughly with the driveway one. There's one in my backyard and the one in the backyard lasts forever, but I have dogs back there. So I turned down the sensitivity 
but I keep the motion alerts, I keep it at standard because standard seems to be the best in regards to battery life and not getting overwhelmed with notifications on my phone. So anyway, uh, another question that I had from somebody, from a viewer, they said that they, sorry, there's a big old glare. Another, another question was, does this thing turn on color in the middle of the night when these lights come on? Yes, it does. When I first received, when I first put this thing together, it wasn't giving me any color at all. It was still in the night mode, black and white. But now, for whatever reason, it seems to be, well, actually it was within like a day. I can't just say now, but like within a day, it started turning the, the night vision off and then giving me a full color image. So that's pretty nice. <clears throat> uh, it also works in conjunction with your watch. So that's pretty cool. Like every time I drive up, it'll shoot off a, you know, a notification to my phone and it'll send it to my watch. So it kind of helps with saving your, I guess, a little bit of battery life on your, on your phone because instead of your phone vibrating, your smartwatch works. Not everyone has a smartwatch like that or Apple Watch or whatever. So I'm just saying if you do have one of those, it's pretty cool because it will send a notification to your phone. Very cool. You can, of course, disable that. So hopefully that answers a few questions. Um, another question I think I had was, uh, where do I get it? <laughs> well, uh, the internet. You can buy one of these off the internet or you can go to your local electronics store. So that's why I went electronics store uh, for one of them. And then, yeah, so anyway. Uh, the battery, oh yeah. The extender, I tried to get an off-market extender and it was ridiculous, it didn't really work. But for some odd reason, when you set up your, your cameras, do it like in your house first and that way it grabs the Wi-Fi and everything connects pretty strong. And then, you know, leave it all set up right here like this. So just put everything in together, right, set it up. Then walk it over to your, to your mounting spot that you want it and then mount it. So hopefully that's some questions answered. Um, over the amount of time that I've had it, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. I, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there who do hacks and they do this and they do that and they, this is how you override this. And I didn't want to wire up one of these cameras. That's why I chose the battery uh, operated one. And I know that's probably a headache to have to take it down. I'd always just take it down and then just charge them because I'm here, so why not? But that can be a headache for some people. So to remedy that, you can get yourself, if you want one of these and you don't want to wire anything, and the, the most wiring you want to do is just put some holes up in, you know, up in your awning or wherever you're going to mount this, you can always get the, um, the solar panel. So solar panel would work out. Uh, that's my next move. And because I'm getting kind of tired of pulling it down, charging it, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, it's fine for now. I, you know, but... I want to be I want to be completely lazy and not have to do it. So either that or wire it somewhere. And plus, I didn't have enough. I didn't have a good spot. Um, if I were gonna wire one of these up, like the wired one, the big floodlight ones with the big noggins on each side. Um, if I was gonna do that, I think I would have had to reroute some wiring from my garage or backyard or wherever, and then you know rewire everything so i don't want to do all that so this seemed to me to be the best option there's other ones out there um, i'm not going to name those other companies my friend has a different brand and he, he loves it he has a lot more uh uses but he doesn't have the lights so and that's what i really liked about this is you know i can monitor from anywhere and user face is pretty easy and about that battery issue, uh, I just had a uh, viewer ask me about battery life. Yeah, I don't know, man. You got to really, you got to keep up on the updates. Um, if you don't have a high traffic area, you're not going to get that many notifications. So, or, you know, events happening on your app. So, uh, if you're really concerned about it, you know, definitely change how this faces. Because I've had it where I had it, I, I had the placement of this you know, at a weird angle at one point, and I wasn't getting anything. And I was like, what the heck, how come it's not going off? Uh, sometimes it's a little bit, 
sensitive or should I say lack of sensitive so it doesn't you know go off at all and you don't get anything so sometimes I'm like what, does, is this thing broken so move it around see what works um, that'll help and, and if you don't live in a high traffic area don't expect it to go off a lot so uh, battery like I said before if it's further away from your Wi-Fi I mean it's gonna be that much harder for it to grab the Wi-Fi uh, that'll run down battery it's just like a cell phone you know like Wi-Fi connecti you know connectivity uh, the light itself uh, if you're constantly turning it on and off on and off on and off that's gonna run, run down the battery so all of those issues are going to kill you if you're constantly live viewing yeah, you know, it's gonna eat it up. So, I guess when you first get it, I was running the battery down like that quick. But now I just, I let it be. And then when I get a notification, boom, boom, boom. Or if I wanna see who's out there, you know, in the front making noise or see if my garbage cans have been taken by a trash, trash company, I turn it on and look, so. Anyway, that's it, that's all I got, guys. If you got any more questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment box. Let me know. And then maybe I could throw another video up and hopefully this will have answered a couple questions. So, all right, guys. Thanks a lot.